Hey guys, uh, today I'm just going to do a little bit of a review on a cheap um, smartphone flexible tripod or just a tripod for your camera. Um, yeah, so looking for one recently, just wanted to set something up, do some static shots um, using my phone. So um, Googled around a bit, found one from Kmart Australia of all places, $8. Figured to give it a go, and so yeah, just give a bit of a rundown of how it works. Cheers. All right, so um, it's uh, yeah, it was only eight dollars, so I figured I'd give it a run. So yeah, here it is. Um, they've marketed with their own product, which is Anko. Um, it uh, features 360 degrees rotation. Um, you can mount it center mount or side mount, top mount as well. Um, it's they're flexible arms, so you can wrap it around. Um, things like a pole, I think they've got it on there. Um, but uh, so yeah, it can be either portrait or landscape mode, I was trying to say. Um, yeah, so let's do a little bit of an unboxing here. So uh, yeah, for eight bucks, I really didn't think I'd get much, so not complaining if it turns out to be uh, rubbish. Um, yeah, so here it is, comes in a couple of components. Um, Here's a tripod itself, and then there's uh, this is the actual mount that um, the phone fits into. Um, it's just spring loaded there to allow you to um, uh, slide the phone into there, so it's quite adjustable for multiple sizes. And this, you can see the screws you can either fit on uh, vertically or, um, oh, sorry, um, I guess it's vertical and that sort of horizontal. Um, so it can allow the, the camera to sit, um, say, um, spaced upwards um, or on the side there. Um, yeah, so it's just a standard screw type fitting which I noticed is the same as sort of your, your GoPro uh, mounts as well. So it's, um, yeah, so it means you can, if you've got GoPro accessories with this standard screw, I think even you, some, I know the cameras as well come with this sort of a fitting, I'm not sure the exact name of it, but that can screw into the, the top here as well. Um, the only downside is I noticed, I think this is, yeah, the thread itself is um, plastic, which is a little bit, um, I was a little bit disappointed in. I was hoping that was going to be uh, metal, which would just be a bit stronger, but I guess as long as you're not trying to hang on it and uh, twist it without too much force, it should be okay. Um, yeah, so from there, it's got a, a ball mount on the top, so this just sort of pivots with a sort of tightened screw here, so it can allow you to, to sort of tilt it right on over to the side like that. Um, or um, have it in multiple uh, adjustable ways. It sort of it has the, the sort of foam covered arms or legs, so it means you can, um, yeah, sort of roll it around um, quite easily and handle it as, a, I guess, a selfie stick as well, which is cool. Um, so yeah, let's I'll show you a little bit in action. So you just sort of screw this top piece on, uh, depending on which way you want it. Now, for me, um, I'm probably going to keep it like this for most of the time because I'm going to use the uh, camera itself in um, in uh, oh, like point it, sit it in there sideways. It's got foam in here, so it shouldn't damage the camera itself. Um, so there, from there, you can sort of just spread the legs out as so, and um, and then the ca the camera sort of slides into to um, this base here to allow it to stay stable. Um, so yeah, I, I'm using an iPhone uh, X, but I'm uh, I guess most phones probably fit in there. It's, it does it sort of extend quite a bit of way out. So as you can see, I'm not sure exactly um, which phones it'll fit, but um, certainly I think um, most of the iPhone models shouldn't be a problem. Um, yeah, so basically um, all you do is just grab the phone uh, in there. And it just sort of slides up. Um, and then the spring-loaded action itself sort of keeps it in check, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, sort of, I've got one a mount like that for my car, which is similar, which just sort of slides up and fits in. Um, yeah, which is makes life nice and easy. Uh, so it's got multiple positions you can sort of lock it into, um, which which is really handy, I guess, if you're trying to get a, a really sharp angle or a wide angle on it. Um, but for me, um, it, it's um, this should suit quite well. Uh, the other thing I noticed is that it, because it is quite a variable size, this um, mount, you c I actually did check the action camera or GoPro, and it can slide. It can actually sit in there um, if you mount it. Um, so if you mount this top piece horizontally, um, so it's facing up, then you can sort of clip the camera in there, and um, it'll 
yeah, it seems to be able to hold that as well, which is handy. I didn't think I'd use it for that, but uh, there may come a time where I want to hand hold the iPhone and then use this uh, the GoPro to solid mount into this um, tripod. So yeah, that I thought was pretty good. Um, but for eight dollars, yeah, I'm not complaining too much. And these uh, legs here themselves are quite flexible as well, so you can you could wrap that around things, um, which is handy. So if you've got a pole or a tree or a branch or a rhubarb or something like that, and you can wrap it around. I think even I've seen instances of ones like this where people wrap around handlebars um, and then put the GoPro in it, which is which is cool. Yeah, it looks um, you know, it looks pretty reasonably solid. It's mostly plastic construction, but I guess if you're not going to be twisting the top bit, you should be okay. And um, yeah, for eight bucks, I really can't complain. So yeah, that's um, my review on it. Seems pretty good, pretty decent. I've used it a couple of times now. Um, hasn't let me down so far, and I'm yeah, I'm not complaining for the price point e either. So um, yeah, that's it, guys. Um, thanks. Have a nice evening.